Here's a fact for you. The healthcare industry spends more on advertising than any other industry. More than food, entertainment, clothing, even more than cosmetics and toiletries. And yet, we're also seeing huge numbers of digital marketers citing poor or unsatisfactory returns on their campaigns, despite such high investment in the sector. So it's fair to assume that there's something going wrong with how we're approaching healthcare. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, I'm Kyle from Created, and I'm here to talk to you about healthcare within digital marketing. You know, throughout the course of the year, we've done an awful lot of research into healthcare. From staging our own healthcare event earlier in the year to launching our new women's health website, the Femedic, which you should check out, by the way, some cracking stuff on there. And throughout all of our research, we've unearthed some common mistakes that digital marketers tend to make when it comes to the healthcare industry. So we've decided to put a weekly study series together where we talk about some of those problems in a little more detail, as well as ways in which you can tackle them. Episode one of which you are watching right now. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to start things off with the fundamentals. What are the problems that digital faces when it comes to healthcare? Well, in our experience, it comes down to three separate categories. Authority, transparency, and competition. Let's talk about authority. One of the biggest distinctions about marketing in healthcare is you're often not pitching to a conventional customer. Whether you're marketing a product to other businesses or directly to customers, you ultimately have to view your product through the eyes of a patient. And it must be remembered that the buying priorities of a patient are very different to that of a customer. When your service targets someone's health or well-being, that demands a certain amount of trust. In order to trust you, the customer needs to feel like you're an authority in the space. The next issue is transparency. We're seeing in many instances campaigns that fail to make the success of their products clear to customers, most often for regulatory reasons. It's difficult to claim exactly what a customer is likely to experience from your service due to physiological, psychological and lifestyle differences. However, because of this, customers are left to judge success for themselves. This creates huge scope for disappointment and means users are unsure how to quantify what success actually is for them. And finally, let's talk about competition. The interest in healthcare and well-being has steadily increased in the last five years, experiencing an all-time high in search interest by the end of 2016. But what that means is the competition is incredibly fierce, meaning it is more important than ever to carve out a space for yourself to ensure your messaging reaches customers through the noise of the competition. So over the course of the next few weeks, we're going to be discussing how you can go about tackling these problems, citing some of our own experiences with healthcare to inform the discussion. If you'd like to follow along with us and find out how you can optimise your strategy for healthcare, just fire us your email in the form below. We'll send you a weekly update with an attachment of our insights, which you can then download and read at your leisure. At Curated, we're always interested in helping anyone who wants to rethink their strategy. So if there's anything else you think that we can help you with, feel free to give us a call. We'd love to hear from you.